give us an idea um, why you think a developer should take a web-first, HTML5-first approach. We can start with Mike. I think that developers ought to look at HTML5 first for any project because why spend time moving an application from platform to platform by recoding when you can just redeploy it for that new platform. You mentioned responsive tools for responsive design. This is one yeah. of the most exciting areas, I think, of this, uh, this web technology. One of the hardest things to do in any programming environment is to, or, or web environment for that matter, one of the hardest things to do is to have code which works on a small screen and a big screen. The transition from HTML4 to HTML5 brought to the web the ability to separate layout from uh, content and, and design from programming logic. And so you can use CSS media queries to say, hey, how big is the screen? And you can make the layout of the page vary. And you know, the Boston Globe was one of the first sites to really show how uh, that's done. It's still one of the best demos where you go to bostonglobe.com, you take your desktop web browser, you shrink the window, and as you shrink it, it magically, magically yeah. seems to turn into a mobile site. Mm -hmm. To be able to bring that capability to the application world. It's so awesome. That's yeah. unbelievable. That yeah. is so amazing. And what that means is that if you're an application developer, you don't have to worry when, oh look, here's the new tablet that is a big hit with a nine inch screen versus mm -hmm. the thing that was a phone that was a five inch screen. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it turns Watch. into a wearable or it's something. It's going to happen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and it happen. makes you think more carefully about your fundamental design right up front, mm -hmm. but it pays huge dividends in the end. Michael, do you have a feeling? Eventually, we may get to a point where you can't tell whether something is, is a web app or or uh, an HTML5 based application. I think that we're already there now in cer certain cases. And Brian? The business drivers are, are good. You know, distribution, skill reuse, that's awesome. But there's another angle to the web that I think is important and should come up once in a while. It's like probably humanity's greatest asset. And um, <laughs> it's something that we can all participate in. The W3C is an open community of people that can drive the standards. And browsers are, for the most part, open source too. And you can be a part of that. Even just building web content, you're helping contribute to this larger thing. I think that's a worthwhile reason, too.